Jim, that's good. First of all, English will yes. do yes. for everyone. All right yes. then. Good afternoon. Welcome to our wooden shoe workshop. I will show and explain to you all how we make a wooden shoe, at least nowadays. First of all, the wood we use to make the wooden shoes. Poplar, Canadian poplar, grows in Holland. We use it fresh, and when it's fresh, there's a lot of water from the tree inside the wood. Makes it soft and relatively easy to cut. And in the early days, the entire outside shape of a wooden shoe was made with this big knife and all done by hand. It was hard work. And for the inside, several sizes of spoon scoops are needed, starting with a big one like this to drill the first hole and then work their way in. For a wooden shoemaker, to make a pair by hand takes two to three hours. Nowadays, it's all done on machines and it only takes five minutes. The principle of the machines is simple. It's a copy machine and works the same way as duplicating a key. Model on one side and the knives take away the wood on the other side while following the model. German machine to copy the outside and a French machine to copy the inside. They're both 80 years old. We'll start with the outside shape. Try to show. 
So you can imagine it needs to be dried, but very slowly, by wind only, this takes three to four weeks. And then afterwards, polished outside and inside. The result then is a light and well-polished wooden shoe to fit a child of about four years old. Now they look big, but wooden shoes are big, and they offer you good protection. They're good safety shoes. They're warm and they're waterproof. Now, best way to wear them, thick bottles are always too big, and finger space, extra room behind the heel when you try them on. Make sure that they're too big. It's a total wooden shoe that won't stretch. Your foot should be free, and a finger space will do the trick. All right, thank you for your attention. Have a good look around, and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.